this is really like to come up in the exam. Um, they like doing this, and it's, I'll be honest with you, it can be tricky, but if you follow these simple rules, you will be fine, I promise you. So, the first thing you have to do, so what we'll do is we'll go through the rules, then we'll do some examples together. Once you're happy with me going through the examples, you can start doing the ones on the sheet that I gave you. So you can stop listening to me when you wish um, and start working on your own, not bothered at all. So the first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do is you have to work on the oxidation states of what's in the um, equation. So work out the oxidation numbers. So you know what's been oxidised and what's been reduced. So what has been oxidised or reduced? Remember, because I'm in half equations, it's either going to show you an oxidation or a reduction. So that's your first step. After you've done that, you balance, you look at that and you balance whatever has been oxidised or reduced, that's the element that you balance. So you make sure you've got the same number of atoms on both sides of the equation. So balance the element that changes oxidation state. If I just put OS, are you happy that that's oxidation state? Yeah. You can write it out. Then balance the electrons. Now this may kind of make oh, this is madness, what's going on? It will all make sense. But be careful to put them on the right side. I'm going to put correct side in case you think right and you always put on the right side. <laughs> No, there may not always be hydrogens on there. Yeah, so what we do is once we do some examples, you'll see what I'm talking about. So but we kind of kind of gonna go through the rules before we do it. So then balance, you sometimes get stray oxygens appearing. That's when you balance. So balance any oxygens that appear or disappear. I know it's really odd, appear slash disappear. with adding water, with H2O. Step five is sometimes you have spray hydrogens appearing. So balance any H's, any hydrogens that appear or disappear. Got to balance then. There is, yeah, but sometimes you don't have to go through these steps because sometimes you won't have this happening. So you can just do this and this and happy days you're done. Um, so what do you reckon we would do that way? We've got straight hydrogens appearing on one side, what would I put on the other side? Oxygen. Well, Oxygen. I've got to have hydrogens that appear, but hydrogens appear H in H plus, yeah, generally H plus. It's H plus and water that you, you're going to add in. Those are the two things you do. And number six, is you check, this is your final check, the total charge on each side of the equation. It should be the same. If it isn't, you've got an old thing wrong. And you have to go back. Normally, that's quite a good way, because if you've done this incorrectly, step three, your charge on each side won't work out, so you can kind of think, oh, oh something's gone wrong. So as I said, I'm going to start doing some. Once you're happy, stop listening to me. I don't mind. Um, can I go yeah. down to four? Yeah. So we're going to start off with a bit of an easy one. 
then you can go on to the worksheet and just carry on with those. Right, so, example number one. is going to be this one. We are going to look at iron. And let's do Fe2 plus becoming Fe3 plus. So I, that's my, that's the equation they want me to now turn into a half equation. So the first thing I have to look at, oxidation numbers. So, there's only one thing in there, so I don't really have to work out what's been oxidised and what's been reduced, it's obviously going to be iron, isn't it? Just out of interest, what is the oxidation number of iron here? Two plus. Yeah, and here? Three plus. Yeah, that would be worrying. Okay, so, what has happened to iron? Has iron been oxidised or reduced? Oxidized. He's been oxidised. So oxidation from AS, what is oxidation in terms of electrons? Lost electrons. He has lost an electron. So think about that when we come to look at electrons. Where am I going to stick my electrons? On the so, right hand side. Yeah, so I've got one iron on the left hand side and one iron on the right hand side. So in terms of atoms, happy days, I'm done. Now I need to put my electrons. I'm going to put my electrons on this side. So plus an electron, like so. Have I got any oxygens happening? No. Any hydrogens? No. So that's happening. So final check. Let's just add up how many pluses and minuses I have. So I have got this side. I have got plus two. On this side, I have got plus 3 minus 1, which equals plus 2. So it's the same on both sides. So, thumbs up. We have put the electrons on the correct side. The key error that people make, if they put yeah. this guy on the wrong side. If you do, do FEG plus minus. You can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can. That's no problem at all. Oh, completely, completely how you want to do it. But the only thing you have to be then aware of is when you start doing this bit, then people then, then it's a minus, a minus, which becomes a plus, and then you have to. Yeah. So you can, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. Conventionally, we normally have plus there. So let's do example number two. Uh, right, slightly harder. We are going to have I minus going to I2. So again, once you're happy, carry on, stop listening. So I minus go to I2. So first of all, only I needs in there, but let's do it anyway. I needs oxidation state here. Minus one. Minus one. What about this guy? Zero. Fabulous. So that's okay. So it's obviously I iodine has been oxidized again. Right. So Thinking in your mind, off, uh, if it's been oxidised, the electrons are going to appear on this side, aren't they? But, oh, bit of an issue. One iodine here, two iodines here. What do I need to do? Change the balance. Change the balance. I need to balance. Like two How am I going to balance? Two minus. I need a big two there. So, iodine is now, I've got two iodines on my left, so two, two iodines on my right, so that's okay. The next step is electrons. How can I do, we've said it's going to appear here, how many do I need? Two. Two, fabulous. Two electrons. Let's do the final check. So a final check here, I have got overall two I minuses, so... Oh, minus two. Uh, he doesn't count. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. Right. This is the harder one. Is there a uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right. So, example number three. Once we've done this one, you're on your own. Right, 
Uh, this is one I recommend you just learn because it's, it's going to come up. So MnO4 minus becoming Mn2 plus. How on earth are we going to tackle this one? Well, let's do our oxidation numbers. Can you see what I mean about uh, an oxygen that appears and disappears? Yeah, I just lost it. Where's it gone? What's that? Where's it gone? Yeah. But, uh, and of course, we're not allowed to just annihilate atoms. So, oh, oxidation states. Don't know anything about manganese in our rules. So what's okay. this guy? Minus two. two. So manganese is going to be uh, minus plus seven. Plus seven. Plus seven. Yeah, because plus seven two times uh, minus four. Uh, yeah, I guess you minus eight. eight. So that's okay. Manganese here is going to be two plus two. Yeah, plus two. So manganese this time has been reduced, which means he has. Gained electrons. It's really useful to do that because if he's gained electrons, you're going to have your electrons on that side. This side, on that. So keep that in your mind because that's what you're going to do. But, bit of an issue. I've got oxygens here. I've got four of them and nothing happening here. So if you go back to your rules, what do I need to add in? Add in to H2O. So, bang, I'm going to add H2O. 4 H2O. Yeah, and I need to add 4 I4. Because you balance it. I've got 4 oxygens there, 4 there. Oh man, no, what have I done? I've now got 8 hydrogens here. No. What do I need to do here? Add 8 H plus. 8 H plus. 8 H plus. So, it's a bit of a mess, so I'm going to write that out again. So, I've now got 8 H plus plus MnO4 minus goes to Mn2 plus plus 4 H2O. And that's just, that's just sorted out my atoms. So you can put the electrons on. Yeah, I do. So yeah. final step now, I'm going to put in my electrons. Plus 7. No. That's all okay. Plus so plus how many electrons do I need to add this side? Five electrons. Final check. Let's hope this works. Over this side, I have got five minus five plus eight minus one. That gives me an overall charge on my left hand side of plus two. two. Oh, my Jesus. Over this side, I have plus two. Plus two, just for the magnetic water. There's obviously. Oh, so, it's all balanced. So, this one we're going to come back to um, when we look at transition into chemistry. That's a really important reaction. That's about as hard as it's going to get. Uh.